Hello. Hi. You're... I'm you from the future. Yeah, I, I figured that. Oh, how, how'd you know? Well, you, you look exactly like me, except you, you've got a mustache. Right, 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 yes. You like it? I guess I will. No, you won't. But the wife likes it, so. Oh, great. We're still married, Becky and I. Yeah, but I, I meant wife number three likes it. Three wives? Four, actually, but one of them was sort of an accident. How, how do you get married accidentally? I really wish I knew. I, I, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So... Oh, right, yes! I have traveled back in time with a warning. A warning? A dire warning. To save you from making the worst mistake of your life. Oh no, we don't accidentally get married again, do we? No. Well then, what is it? Don't eat the bacon. I'm sorry, come again? You have bacon in your fridge? Yes. Yeah, don't eat it. I'm sorry. You traveled back in time from the distant future to warn me not to eat some bacon? Actually, it wasn't, it wasn't that much in the distant future. Well, how, how far into the future have you traveled back from? Tuesday? Next Tuesday. Yes. Wait, they invent time travel between now and Tuesday? Well, they wanted it out for summer, you know, kids. <laughs> where, where, where did you... It was on sale at Best Buy. Really? You, I mean, you would have, you would have thought that I would have heard something about it. Wait, 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 wait. You grow a mustache between now and Tuesday? Oh, yeah, that's a side effect of the time travel, pretty sweet, right? Okay. What about the three wives? Right, that. Well, it turns out there's an atheist prophet that had a vision where he was told by no one to take extra wives. That doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't at all. But it sounded sexy, so. Is it? No. No, they mostly just gang up on me. So, you, you get married three times. Twice on purpose. Okay. You, you buy a time machine, grow a mustache, and then use your first trip back through the fabric of quantum space to warn yourself not to eat some bacon. It is really bad bacon. Okay. So suppose I don't eat the bacon. What happens to you? I don't follow. Well, I mean, if I don't eat the bacon, then you'd have no need to buy a time machine, no need to travel back here. <gasps> My mustache! Well, that's not all. You disappear from this time. How do you feel about disappearing? Oh, no, I don't think I've thought this out. Well, you can't stay here. Becky's gonna be back home in any minute. Oh, uh, uh, okay, um, you have to eat the bacon. What? No, I, I can't knowingly eat something that's gonna make me sick. You have to, just until I get home. That doesn't make any sense. Nothing makes sense right now, damn it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm just kind of freaking out right now. Look, I guess I can eat a little bit of bacon. Really? Yeah, just enough to make me a little nauseous. Yeah, just enough to make you a little nauseous in the hospital. What? yourself together. Ah! Fine, fine, I get stupid bacon, but you owe me big time. Anything, anything I'll do, anything you want.